something we truly know nothing about, yet we are surrounded by it every day. Life can seem so precious, fragile, to think it could be taken from us so easily, yet we risk it every day just living our daily lives. One minute we are here, and the next. My name is Rick Strauss, and I'm making my way to the abandoned Starkford mine. Ten years back, twenty miners, including my father, seriously went missing. People searched for weeks to still find no bodies. They called off the search due to the mines being too unstable the deeper they'd got. Some say they were buried deep under Starkford due to collapsed support beams. Others say they found the gateway to hell. Hello everybody, Striker9974 here, and today we're going to be playing Stark Ford Horror, a indie game in the game Project Spark, and so f oh, when I have art, oh, flashlight, yes, a eternal torch, that's a flashlight, not a torch, I think you meant to write flashlight, uh, press Y to replace battery, alright, that will be useful in case I find batteries, oh, what was I saying, um, Anyway, this is an indie game in the game Project Spark. This game is available on PC for free and on Xbox, so if you own either, this is good. Ooh, we got a little menu we can pull up and everything. Uh, let's see, what's that say? Stock, Stark Food Mines. It's no sprint button so far. Let's see, we got RS move, look around. So this game is pretty interesting because Project Spark allows you to create your own games using series of code, which is really nice because if you don't know how to code, it's a really good way to just start learning the code. There's now a couple people that learned like basic coding from this, but so far it's just, eh, I mean, graphic-wise, it's pretty good for the game compared to some things I've seen, and it's running really well, and actually it's kind of creeping me out. Um, oh, the atmosphere. It's a good idea to stick to the path. Oh, well, thanks for telling me something I was already do. Hold LT to crouch, all right? Oh, it's so fucking eerie. All right. It's going to break when I run past the bitch, 20 bucks. It's actually really scary, the atmosphere. Those trees look oddly tropical. Am I in a tropical area? Um, more plants. Uh, what was that? Scarecrow. Light. Oh, this is building up. There's gonna be a jump scare, I can just tell. Ah, uh, shit. Oh! And the light. Oh! Hey! Buddy! Yeah, light's broke. So now I'm, now I'm in, like, pitch black. That's nice. I like to, I like how the flashlight works and it doesn't work. Like you think that it, it works when I look down, but when I look up, it doesn't illuminate unless something's in front of me, which kind of sucks. The hell was that? Okay. Um, I was talking. Thank you very much. Let's see in here. What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh. Chains from outside. It's not scary at all. Oh, wrong button. Alright, I'm gonna quickly pause here. Look at the controls. Because I'm probably gonna end up forgetting. Uh, let's see. Interact. Move. Run. Oh, there is a run button. Click LS. I should have seen that. X does nothing. RB and LB do nothing. Alright, that, that's useful. Thanks, game. What was that? Is that like the interaction sound? Like, hey, buddy. Great to interact. All right. Um. Let's see. Where am I? Controls. Ah, oh, dude, it's dark in here. Oh, paper. Oh, 
Day four, the minds are changing. I'm changing someone else here. I feel like blah blah blah. Okay. If you want to re read that, just pause at that point in the video. Sorry about that. Let's see. What's. It's boards. Alright. Progress! Finally. I was just wandering around for a little bit. Find something that will smash through. Alright. I don't want to go back to that fence in case it accidentally. Like, I accidentally trigger a sound effect I've already heard. Let's just look around here. My flashlight can't went out. So, that's why I, in my recording, messed up a little bit. That's why I was in an opposite corner from when I, uh, last came up. Blood. That's wonderful. Looks like red water, but it's most likely blood. Probably from the rain. Have you ever, like, bled when it's raining out? I remember, like, one time I got, like, a cut, and it was raining out, and, like, the, when blood goes in the water, it just kind of, like, dissipates. And, like, moves into different directions. Looks, it looks, it looks weird, but at the same time, it looks cool. It's hard to explain. I'm not saying that I like the idea of blood being in water. I'm just saying that it looks kind of interesting, the way it, like, dissipates. Um... What the hell's that? I don't care! Alright, let's go back. Bet you 20 bucks it's around here somewhere. They want, he wouldn't put it too far away. I'm saying he because I, it was said Aaron at the beginning, so I'm assuming that's a guy's name. If you are a girl, I apologize. Oh, it's spooky. Spooky. What if I were just crouch the whole game? Would you guys just be like that more afraid? All right, let's follow the blood. If I were to crouch this whole game, it'd be like you guys would be like, "Oh my God, what's gonna happen next?" Because when you crouch, it's like, "Yep, hey, where are the odds?" Press menu to check inventory. Why can't you just made it up? All right, items. Small torch. That's a flashlight. Oh, so there must be like upgrades. That'd be cool. You have right inventory interact. Oh, break that boards down. Break them down hardcore. Oh yeah. Oh, it's quiet. Today we all started to hear children playing. Why here? The mines are far too dangerous for kids. I don't know. If you did want to read it, read that. Pause back there. Um. Okay. Could you like stop? Ooh, a ladder. How wonderful. Oh, watch. Something's gonna be there. Was, was those eyes? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me? Were those eyes? Or was that just the rocks? Oh, my objective change. Not that I truly care. Search for a way to go deeper. The random screams are not okay. It's not okay to just put random screams everywhere. Um... Just keep walking, just more paper. Day 23, we worked through the hallucinating death itself, and whatever presence we felt has now come for us. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Um, can I fall? No? Oh, there's a button. Oh, I thought this is gonna be fun. Oh, it's instant. Oh, I thought it was gonna like, an interactive cutscene like the ladder did. Alright. Oh, okay then, let's get in here. Hey guys, if you notice that, I'm, I'm crouching right now because I want to make it even more dramatic. And because I'm scared as shit. But more than we're going to say the dramatic- Hey! Hey. It's dark down here. But we're going to make it even more dramatic by just crouching and talking very quietly. Uh, what's this over here? The axe was weak and broke on impact. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, what do I do? <laughs> Can I, like, push him? Um, elevator? There's, there's two burnt out torches here. I can't use the elevator. Um, uh, do I have an item? Oh, it says your, tor your, little, your battery. It would be better if the battery was, like, this way at the bottom. That'd be really useful so, like, you know how much life you have before you have to refill. Uh, can I push him? Is, there, is that another axe? Hey, I can see my hand! <gasps> I can see my body! Oh, I, I look like... What time is this? <laughs> Those clothing are, like, medieval ages. I was driving a car. It was, like, today a convention or something? Alright. And we're back. So I figured out you need to get the torch, and then burn it with the torch. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> took me a, uh, you should see me. I was like walking around for a good five or so minutes. Can I walk through the smoke here? Uh, I was walking around for a good five or so minutes, just like, what the hell does I do right now? Let's see. It's dark in here. 
Ah, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking, walking. What the hell? Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, it's gone. Run. What the? What just happened? Oh. This is wonderful. What is that noise? This is this is a bit scary. Only a tad bit. This guy's sitting here. Um Okay then. Thank God for the loading screen. Cause you can only put so much in one level, I guess. <laughs> so it's pretty dark in there. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to be mad afraid of the dark. Like, I don't know, it was because, like, it was like, I don't know, I think it was just because I didn't know it was out there, so I was always afraid to go out in the dark. Like, I remember I had this one dream, like, this, like, it was like, it made no sense, but, like, I heard a bike going up and down the street, and I, oh, okay, what happened to me? It feels like I've been here forever, there's still no signs of the others, is it just me? Did I have time to write that, or is that from someone else? Anyway, what I was saying was, um, no items. Alright, so I'm out, I don't have a flashlight and it's dark as hell in this room. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I heard a bike going down my street, so I'm like, what the hell? I can't open the door. Um, so I was like, what the hell is going on? I, I didn't have an explanation for it, so I just assumed it was like, a, like a, I don't know exactly what it was. I think it was like a wolf thing, wolf man, riding up and down the street. And I recently watched a TV show, like a really scary thing, riding, like a monster riding down the street, so that's what I thought. Let's see. Mr. Drawers. Aww. It's gonna be one of those games, huh? You can already see it now. I have to pull out every single drawer and every single thing. Can I, like, break the bookshelf or. Wait a minute. Bed? Wardrobe? I can go in the wardrobe. Hey, oh, well, let's not go in the wardrobe. We'll break the game. Yeah, I can't push it. I thought I could push it. That'd be sick. Push, like, a wardrobe and then. Okay, secret passageway. Book? Secret book door? That book looks like. Oddly from fake. Alright, let's see. Let's take us out. Oh, wrong thing. Alright. No items. Sorry. If, um, paper. Oh, it opens. It's pitch black. You know what that means? We're gonna run straight through it. No cares. No nothing. Just run. Uh, actually, it's pretty dark in there. Whatever. Fuck it. Oh, pitch black. Can't see anything. Don't know what's happening. Hopefully it's not a loading screen. And oh, candles just appeared. Oh. That hurts my face. And mind. And everything. Um. Into here, I guess. I guess. I guess. What am I looking at? I have something orange in front of me, please, so I can see what I'm go doing. Um, oh, wrong thing again. Keep I keep accidentally clicking. Is there's two pause buttons? There's the pause button he made, and then there's the standard pause button that like you ha have pre-built. Oh, flashlight. B. All right. Let's see. Whoa. This one looks like satanic. There is something that wanders is it after me. I will not take chances. I'll hide from the monsters. All right. If you want to pause, if you want to read that, pause there. All right, candles are out. It's not a good sign. Um. Um. Find a place to hide. What are you? Oh God. Oh God. Can't go there. Um. Um. Uh, sh should I just run into him? No. No. In here. In here. Let's think about running into him flashlight went out. Oh, God. No. God, no. God, no. Turn off the flashlight. God, no. God, no. God, no. God, no. God, no. Don't see me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, he's gone. Oh, God. Why'd the camera go black so fast? Okay. Whoa. Okay, I guess. Yeah, 
That was close. And scary. That was probably the first genuine scare in here, and it w I didn't even see the thing. He, he looked like a pyramid head dude. I didn't even get to see him. My, my vision went black too fast. Oh, now we get the weird camera thing. Look at it. So let's talk about the flashlight. The flashlight's the only bad thing so far that I've seen in this game. I'm gonna keep crouching here. Is that the room I was in? Yeah, it is. He has the room. Because I remember I pulled out that drawer. Watch like there be some secret meat like ending to the drawer and like it has like conquer or something. Um be something. Locked. Oh, that was a scream. Oh, that's blood. Oh. Behind me? No, that's from that's from the uh door, but can't be too sure. But yeah, what the guy was saying. This light's the only bad thing in this game so far that I've seen. It's a really good indie horror game, but... Really? This light? Seriously? Like, who designed this? It's only... It'd be useful if, like, it was... It always did that, but, like, it breaks apart off walls and stuff, see? Like, look. Like, right there. Look at that. It breaks. I don't know if that was, like, in a sense to be make it feel more realistic, or... Something, but I'm pretty sure that when you look down the hallway, your light doesn't like sear across like that, and normally it keeps moving forward. Um, this room has nothing in it. Oh, my flashlight ran out. Well, I'm boned. I can't see, and I'm boned. They gave me no batteries. Very by yeah, Aaron. Pretty sure that's the guy's name. Alright, let's see. <sighs> I can't see anything. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. What if, like, I could, like... Okay, that's... This ain't gonna work. What if I could, like, go in there and trigger the monster to come out again and kill me? So I could have the flashlight full power? All right, let's go down to the store. Make it slow, though. Was that supposed to happen? Or was that just him deciding, you know what, your battery's gonna run out right now? Because it, the battery counter's not at the bottom of my screen, and I can't tell. There's no, like, indication. It just shuts off. Oh, another bad thing. So, flashlight needs to be worked on, in general. All right. Oh, still more locked doors. Let's see. I like the simplistic art style, though, like I said before. Um... Oh, oh my god, I thought I'd never speak to another human being again. There's much time, I don't know wh where we are or where the hell this is, but maybe you can help. Outside the kill on the door, I hope it helps you more than that. It's me. Uh, oh no, I have to go, please find help. Are you, like, dating a monster? That was a chainsaw. Oh, it's a Chainsaw Massacre. Wonderful. This ought to be a fun game. There's only, unfortunately, there's only five parts out in this game, so... We're on part three already? It's insane. Parts are mad so slow because you can only create, we'll generate one world per area, so it kind of sucks. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave this episode here because it's too dark for me to see. It's probably going to come out horrible for you guys to see. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. That's all for this video, I guess. I mean, if you do have like one of these uh, games that you would like me to try out, just leave it in the comments. That's all. Peace.